You know, she was the bonfire. She started that, the burning of the F, everything. And hours upon hours with student council and making homecoming wreaths and, and Christmas wreaths and mums and all this kind of stuff. And it's so interesting because she she would always have her dogs, whether Hershey or Precious or whatever, and she'd walk around and then they'd go, they'd follow her. She'd always say, oh, they're my shadows. And really? And so she'd go, oh, yeah, I love them, I love them. We'd always make fun of the dogs and all this kind of stuff. Absolutely hilarious. And she she did this on it. You know, truly being sponsored student council for 22 years, and, and student council was long ago. And she was very well known across the state with the Texas Association of Student Councils. Extremely and very well respected. When we would go to our district and state conferences and conventions, they would just, these sponsors would just gravitate towards her. They loved Mitty Wilkinson. Absolutely loved her. And they would tell us over and over, you have an amazing sponsor, you have a wonderful, she's just phenomenal. And, and we knew it. We knew it. She, we, we decided when I was probably a junior, I was a junior in, in high school, she wanted to run and have Valkyries High School be state president, the office of state president. And this was a big deal. She'd never done something like this before. Well, we would put Valkyries up at the top, and ensuring that the entire state of Texas, we would be the president of school. And so we worked on it, trying to raise money, um, you know, coordinating and, and uh, uh, doing politics throughout the whole state, and this is what we're doing, all this kind of stuff. We had to do a skit and everything. It was so amazing because we were in Austin. 5,000 people were there, of students and the whole staff. And we had to do a whole skit. Well, she's never really done the backstage stuff. Well, she had to do it at that time. And the stress, she couldn't take. She, she had diarrhea for I don't know how many days. And she, was, <laughs> she went, oh my God, and she was back there. Oh my gosh, she just, she couldn't do it. And then she was crying and crying when we were doing the nomination speeches and it, it was all going on because it was just uh, the kids who could perform. And she was bad, she was just crying and crying and crying. Well, the next day, you know, they voted, everybody voted based on skits and our platform and all this kind of stuff. In front of 5,000 people, they announced Valkyrie's High School was president's school. And when they announced that, she just, it, it was amazing. The, it, the people just flooded her, flooded her, and they were crying and crying. Many of you have arrived. It's your time. It's long overdue. And she was just so filled with joy. 30 minutes later, we go backstage. And we have a meeting with the state director and other schools that won. And the state director comes up to Mitty and myself. And he just put his head down and said, he says, I'm so sorry. We announced the wrong school. <laughs> and I looked at him, and I looked at her, and she said, Okay, I understand. Have you contacted the other school to let them know that they won? And he says, we're working on that right now. She said, okay, thank you so much. And we're walking down the stairwell, and I'm like, hey, what in the world? What's going on? What's going on? She said, they, they messed up. And you know what? It's okay. She told me in that stairwell, she said, Lucian, she said it was an honest mistake. She says, you don't know what it is that I go through every year when we're counting ballots for homecoming queen. I stress over that so many times that I circle the wrong name, that I count it wrong, that something goes wrong, that the wrong name is announced, and, she's, and I wouldn't want that on anybody else. We're better for it. We'll learn from this. And it was hard and it was painful, but you know, Many would have wanted them to have it, because that's what she was. That was their third time running for the office of president, and it was our first. So we come back to the school on Monday, and ah, just, just devastated, just devastated of it all. So we wrote two letters. One, she said, we have to write them a congratulations letter. We're going to send it to them and congratulate them on some and fun. <laughs> then we wrote a letter. Um, to the state director that had every profanity word that we could find. <laughs> we put it on Brooks County Independent School District letterhead and signed the superintendent name to it. <laughs> you think we should mail it? I don't think so. And you know, how 
we process the whole thing, pour it up, and you know what? She would always do that. <laughs>